Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice base database. This is the HR database part two. What I want to cover in this module is how to create a subform. So just to quickly recap what we have already, if I go to the tables area, we've got two tables, course and staff. And if I go to tools and relationships, you can see that relationship there that we've got. So you can see one staff member can have many courses, one to many. So that's already created. We've got a couple of queries or one query, which is just how many courses individuals do. What I want to do now is create a form using the wizard that will allow me to enter data into both those tables. So this is what I'm going to use wizard and it opens up the wizard and it's picking up the query, but I want it on, I want the main table to be staff. Then I'm taking all of the fields across, following the wizard through to next. It's, it's then got the option to add a sub form, which I do want to do. And then I'm picking the sub form that's selected there, which is the courses, following the wizard through, taking all the fields across for courses. And next, so the main form, I want it like that. You get a little preview behind look. And the sub form, I've got it as a data sheet, which is what I want. And then I'm going next. And it says display form without showing the data at the top, which I don't want. I want this one. And you've got some options there you can tick on or off. It's up to you. Depends on what restrictions you want to make. Following it through, different styles. Some beige, blue. I like blue. Going for blue. Next. And then I'm putting FRM in front of that, qualifying that as a form, table staff, TBL courses, so you know which what it's doing. Now, you can't always do it like that, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do it like that. And then I'm clicking finish, and then the form is presented like so. So I've got record one of three. If I move forward, that's the second person and black. Paul Gray, and that's all I've got in this database. I've come back the other way, that's me. So if I wanted to add a, a new record, um, let's say access, course ID would be number four, level one say, today's date is the 09-12-23, Staff ID is one. So that's where it's done there. If I go next, next person at the top there. So that was moving that onto the, the next record for me. But if I scroll down to the bottom here, you've got these arrows. Go back to that way a bit. Let's move up and down. And then if I click on the main form, so I've got this one, they're now going to the next person. Like so. So I'm entering that data. So if I go course ID 5 for course name, Excel, level 1, date of course today, 09-12-23, staff ID is already there, knock that off. So if I just close this form down for a minute, that's sitting there, but let's have a look at what it's done to the tables. So in terms of um, staff, it won't have done anything, but courses should have grown there. You've got course ID, those two that I've just added, you can see them sitting down there. And then if I go to the query that I did on the last session, uh, down there it is, there it is. There's the people and the courses that they're down to do and when they're down to do it. So the two that I've just done are sitting down there like that. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video, how you can do a subform and input data into multiple tables. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.